Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anirudh and today in this JavaScript tutorial, I will discuss about object. In my previous video, I had discussed on data type and variable. So in the data type concept, we notice there is one data type which is called object. Object is very important. So that's why in this video, I will discuss more details on object. So how to create object and what is the important of it? Okay. So first of all that we have to understand. So here just simply how we write a variable like using const okay not inside the body tag we have to write inside script tag because when we write javascript so that time we write inside a script tag that we know already because we had seen in my previous video okay. So here the variable name you can write anything but there is some uh, some concept like how we write the variable name you can write any name but you, you cannot write uh, variable name using space. A hyphen like that okay so there is some rules but otherwise name you can write anything so variable name I have written object and when we declare variable so that time we use three kind of key keyword where let const so those things I have discussed on details in my previous video you can check that video also so it will be helpful to understand for you what is object okay so object syntax is like that so this is the object syntax okay so we have understand the object syntax now i will show you how to declare object so in the variable we can we can declare one value only but in object we can declare multiple value so that is the one advantage like if suppose i want to declare four value so i have to create four variables but if i use object so that time in one variable i can declare multiple value like see the example what is the difference between simple variable and object suppose if i want to declare hi and hello so hi for hi i have to write one variable and for hello i have to write another variable and variable name also i have to change b and this one i will make it hello so here you can see there is two variable right but it is the same thing i can define inside an object using one variable like see here it's a object that is one variable and inside this object i can declare one property this is called property and here i can declare high and after that comma and i can declare another property like here which is variable so same thing i will declare as a property here and now hello so now see only one variable but i have declared two values so that is the advantage of object when we, we will work with uh, api so that time we will get the uh, data uh, like object format okay not a variable format because when we get the data from database suppose you are uh, you open flipkart website or amazon website which is very common site right so that time you fill the login form register form so in that register form suppose here i am taking example for a uh, register register form so when you fill the data in register form so there is multiple field multiple field means multiple data you are sending like your name your email address your password right so if all the data will go separate variable so there will be multiple variable like like hey a a will be contain your name okay your name suppose my channel name here i'm writing creative developer okay and b will be your gmail address like a n i r u d h a w a m i k one two three 18 at the rate gmail.com okay so like this way. so like this way there will be multiple data you, you will you have to send like after that you have to send the password confirm password okay so it will be multiple variable like so but instead of that if you write like this way a will contain name b will contain gmail c will contain uh, like another here c c will contain our password so like this so if we send so here we will receive data only in one variable and after that whatever we need like suppose i have to display name so i can write object dot a because a is containing the name like here if i if i add this one so it will be easy to understand a and here this is gmail address okay like this so here i will change here variable name is name and here i will add email so same i will change here name and this is email so now i will move to 
C because C uh, you already understood like uh, if we want to send multiple data so that time if we send by variable uh, separate variable then we have to create multiple variable but if we send uh, using uh, object so only one of uh, variable we can set and after that we can set different different properties and we can send the data like this okay so i will remove the comma also and i will do same so now suppose here in the page after register just imagine you register your amazon or flipkart any kind of site so after register you can see your name right welcome you by uh, after that your name like here if i register and log in then it will so like welcome creative developer like this way we can see in the top or any other places means you you enter your profile and you can see your details i mean to say okay so that time now after login you have to suppose a uh, display name and email so in this in that time how you will display here you have to display like console dot log so console we use for the dis, uh, display any uh, anything in in not page in our uh, debug mode okay so console dot log and name comma email okay so like this way we have to write but here it will be little easy okay so same thing i will write here but we will call here object object dot name and object dot email okay so like here this is very simple now you are thinking here this time also i have uh, added two uh, two thing like name and email here also two things so what is the advantage but see guys you want to see the entire details okay so that time here you have to write two times but here you want to see entire details so that time you no need to write two times simply you can write here object nothing else okay so if you write here object so you, you can see here all the details so that is one advantage even there is some other advantage too okay here this is the one advantage and now guys here if you have understood about object so now i will just show you some syntax okay how you can define object so now here those thing i will remove because our concept is object not variable so just for difference purpose i had shown the object and variable so now here suppose you already have defined one object but later later you want to define password okay so, so how you can do that so simply you have to write object dot pass what equals to your password suppose one two three like this so now this way you can define your password means now if you print the object here in the console so that time what output you will get let's see just here i will get the output but later i will show like the same output i will get or not so the output will be like this one object okay and in this object i will get those two property and values like this way okay and with that i will get this one also password so here after that it will add comma and password colon like this so when we add the additional object value so that time we use equals to not colon okay that thing you have to remember so when i have started javascript tutorial so that time i already said in javascript there is two kind of thing one you have to remember which is pre-defined in javascript and one you have to create your own logic okay so here this thing you have to remember like here already object is declared or just imagine this object coming from your login site okay means here in this object this is coming from different site okay here you don't have the control like here i i created this object so i have control like if if i want to add password so simply i can write here password okay colon and one two three this is the password but you don't use this kind of password okay if you use this kind of password so your site or whatever your account will be hacked 
so don't use like just for example purpose i'm sorry so here you have control so you can set the password but suppose after login okay after login you are getting some details like you just uh, select your add to cart or whatever in the flipkart or amazon website i'm taking the those kind of website because those are the popular okay so that's why you can easily understand most most of the viewers have account in those two sites okay so here when you log in so that time uh, you get actually you don't understand but developer get the data and they just display the data in the in the page like when uh, you open the page i uh, log in so that time in your profile page you can see how many product you have bought or how many product you have ordered so that time those data coming from database means you don't have the control but suppose in that data which is coming from database there you want to add some additional property so that time you cannot add like this way so that time you have to take that object variable name and you have to write like this way means here the main thing which i want to say like when you don't have the control so that time you have to write like this way this is the main thing here i why i have discussed because you may be confused like here when i have the object already so i can declare like this way why you need to declare like this so that's why i explain the scenario so that scenario if you are the facer so it will be confusing but when i will show you the advanced label if i show you the database one so that time you can easily understand but now just remember if you want to additional property in the object you can write like this so this is the one thing okay now here the another syntax so this way you can write even there is another syntax this that is only syntactual difference so object now uh, some uh, uh, confirm password i will add okay uh, by additional like additionally like, I, I will add the confirm password so here you can write like this and the property name will be confirm password okay and equals to and confirm password also will be same like this one two three so both two are the same meaning only syntactual different okay and here same way if you want to display your contact password i mean if you uh, print the object so here while i have added additionally password and confirm password and after that if i print the console.log object so i will get this confirm password also like that confirm password colon one two three okay like that so this is the object actually now let's see in the uh, in the console exactly i will get the data like this way or not so now i will open inspect and here in the inspect i will go to console so you can see easily like how data is coming so i am getting entire object and in that entire object i am getting name email confirm password and password everything i am getting okay so now the another thing another way we can define also i hope guys you have understood so now from here suppose you want to display only the password so that time you can write object dot and this property name those are called property okay don't be confused those called property and those called value left side called property right side called values because when i'm uh, using those kind of term you can maybe confuse like which is property which is value so in the object those are the property this password here confirm password and those are value okay so like this way now i want to just take this password so i can write like this way here i will open console again see now i can access only password so now suppose you want to display in the page now i am displaying in the console like console is for debugging purpose like whatever i'm i wrote so that code it is properly written or not so that's why we checked in the console now after checking like when i'm seeing it is coming properly as our expected 
so now i can uh, i can uh, add in the page so in the page how we can add simply we can write document because entire page we call document right that i have told already so document dot write because in that document i want to write something now here instead of console.log now i will add here the same thing of the password and i will go here see here it is displaying one two three now suppose you want to display another thing like name so you can write here name instead of password and you can see it is coming name okay password one two three and name creative developer okay so it is very simple now the another thing i will show you about object which is also most important like when you will create uh, i mean you will work for the big kind of application so that time that that syntax will be useful okay so what is the syntax okay so here this one okay now suppose suppose here you want to uh, you want to display this name and email both so here what i am doing i am doing object dot name and again now just what i will do uh, those thing i will comment okay because those are not now required because now i am going to show you the different thing about object so here suppose i want to display this uh, name and the email both so here how i have to write here I have to write like this uh, object dot name and again object dot this email right so here email so let's see I will I can see or not so see it is the name and this is our gmail id right okay actually here no space because I because I did not add any css yet or anything so that's why it is coming together so now here when i want to display the two things so that time here we, we no need to write like this so that time we can create here uh, all okay any other property name this property name you can write anything i want to display entire thing of this object together so that's why i'm writing all but you can write the relevant name this is what example purpose so i have written but you can write the relevant name all and co i will write here function okay like this and here after that i will write return this dot name okay comma this dot email like this means here this means what is this this is also very important this means it denote the own function or whatever the own thing like this function under this object so if i write this that means it will denote only this object so this means this object and after that name because i need the name right so name here no need to write object dot name okay because if you write the this so that means it will denote only the that object only because this all property comes inside this object only like this so this dot name and this dot email this is done so now here instead of calling object dot name object dot email just simply you can call this one object dot call okay it is sun function so i will write here like this so guys here you can see only the mail id it is displaying okay so what is the issue this one only displaying e this dot email means this mail id but name is not displaying because here we can't write comma okay here we have to write plus because two things additionally we want to display name and email so i have to write plus here so save and now you can see first it is name creative developer after that it is the mail id right so like this one you can define the object so this is very simple right there is some other thing also in the object and which is more more important so those things also i will cover and here if you have any doubt like why 
the object whatever doubt you can write in the comment section i will just try to reply on your doubt okay or you can follow my insta id which you will get in the in the video description so there you will, you will get my insta id so there you can follow me okay and if you find this video is helpful so please like this video guys and also subscribe my channel because after completing javascript tutorial i will just from starting will show you the react redux everything okay means if you follow my channel you can learn easily everything even if you notice in my channel i just show the problem logically thing not whatever you will get in the documentation already okay actually those video you will get in the documentation but if, here i am showing because many viewers were requested like just so uh, creator want to, to javascript tutorial from begin so that's why i am i am showing otherwise in my channel mostly the video more, the like whatever uh, people face in the office life so those kind of thing i solve and i upload in my channel so it will be very useful if you follow my channel so i will request you to follow my channel